Good day all and welcome back to the channel or welcome to I guess I should say as well Either way, thanks for tuning in. Hope y'all are doing well Park this thing up Shut her off. I want to show go over something. Uh oh Uh oh, rut row raggy. Whoa, wait, did we make it? No, okay, let's uh <laughs> Let's pull up a bit. Maybe that'll help there we go. I think that's much better. Alrighty. So what I am thinking about doing, not right this minute. What the heck? Why is my header humming at me? Wonder if maybe the hydraulic pump is stuck. Something like that. Something's askew. Gets quieter. Louder. And quieter. So something. Right chia is messing with us. All right, well, we'll figure that out in a minute. But I am toying with going through here, cleaning out a few trees, <clears throat> excuse me. And if I do, I will definitely be using the uh, T-Rex. I am not gonna be doing any logging. <laughs> We've already had enough of that on this map. So if I get rid of a few trees and maybe just put an open shed similar to what is on the other side or what the, we're looking at the back side of, I think that would be handy. We are not out of places for our implements, but we are starting to get there. Let's drop that thing off. I'm just doing a little clean in here and noticing that we are running out of room. I do have a home for everything as of right now. But not, uh, not any extra, it doesn't look like. So we'll have to toy with that. We'll think about it, ponder it, see what we want to do. Maybe we'll find a better place that we don't have to do any tree work to get. All right, that is perfect. So now, what do we need to get done today? Let's pull up the map here and take a quick look. Come on. There we go. Okay, so... We have, what are our fields? We have 16, which is on the last growth state, but we need to get a, a fertilizer on that guy. It's only got one fertilizing state on it, so we need to get that second before it turns. I would like to, and I actually I know I will, we will get 15 and we will get 28 harvested today. Those are sugar beets, so I'd like to get that done. I have no idea what sugar beets are selling for. I don't think I want to know right now. Let's be surprised. <laughs> so we also have some canola straw all throughout field 17. That is ready to be picked up. I am very curious as to how much money that's going to bring. Because didn't we get off of the field itself? I think we sold it at the end of the last episode. And I'm pretty sure it was about 100 and maybe 180, maybe 183 is what I'm thinking of now i could be wrong with that so uh don't hold me to it but i think it was right around them figures anyway so i'd like to see how much we make off of the canola straw and if we have time we're going to jump over here on field 11 and i think i'm going to get it ready for sale i just can't think of what good it's going to do our farm to have field 11 if you can think of anything that we can do with it that is actually going to benefit or profit the farm, let me know. I will hold off until the next episode to sell it, just in case somebody has a brilliant idea that I am not thinking of. So that is, if we have time, we'll get that puppy ready to go. So let's start off. Let's grab a fertilizer spreader and see about 16. Now, I say that. But I have been thinking about switching from dry fertilizer to liquid fertilizer. So I think what I would like to do is let's go do a little shopping. Because I'm going to have to get either a... Well, I don't have to, but I want to either get a new spreader for lime or go through and get a new fertilizer sprayer. Because I don't like having to empty out and switch back and forth between lime and fertilizer. I'm kind of lazy that way. I can't help it. <laughs> and when I got 300 grand in the bank, you know, what's, what's up with not buying another one? <laughs> so what do we want? Do we want, do we want self-propelled? 
what do we got? The Stara there, that right off the bat. That does uh, 27 meters for 195, not too shabby. Now, the John, see, we're running such a John Deere farm here. Maybe I should go with the John Deere. But I'm not really trying to run a John Deere farm. I'm just, I'm really not. But we just kind of, I just keep buying John Deere, and here we sit. Okay, so let's see. What else we got before I go John Deere in it? Okay, so we've got the horse. Uh, this, well, I like this one. If we're going horse, I think I'll go with the uh, latter of the two. That one spreads at 18 miles an hour. That's not bad. That's a New Holland. I don't think I've ever used the New Holland. 36 meters. What is that? 259. The Stara. That's interesting. The only difference between the two is they cruise at one mile an hour faster. Do they have the same setups? Uh, kind of looks that way, doesn't it? Oh, man. Do I want to do... If I did the John Deere, I know there are other attachments that go with it. Because I've used this in... Was it La Coronella? 2.0? Is that what I used the John Deere in? I think it was. And I liked it. It did a really good job. I don't think the turning radius was stellar, but I mean, that's a behemoth. It's not going to be that good. I know. I got to quit him hauling around here and just pick. Okay, I guess... Oh, I guess it's the John Deere. It's going to end up costing us more in the long run. Let's uh, let's go over here. Before I, I say that, let's go look at John Deere. And we'll see what they have. Okay, so we're not looking for tractors. No, 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 no. There we go. So there is a 120-foot boom. So how far is 120 foot? Would that be divided by three? So that's like a 40-meter spread, roughly. Mind you, roughly. That's uh, that's not bad. And we have a dry box. So I could, in theory, get rid of our fertilizer spreader. You know, I don't know. Well, I guess we could do that for the smaller fields. Oh, I'm liking it. Is that the only implements we got for that guy? I think it is. Man, too much John Deere stuff. Holy cow. I know somebody in there is going, what? Too much? There is never too much John Deere. My hometown, that's what they would be saying as well. My goodness. Okay. Let's go. Oh, gosh. And we got to go all the way back. My goodness gracious. Wait. It's almost going to be easier to do that and then go this way, I think. I think that was quicker. My thumb was getting tired. So we are here. Let's uh, Let's get this. And wheel brand. I don't... Do we want this? Oh. Ooh. Wow. That looks pretty good. Lizard or Michelin? I kind of like Michelin. Oh, Midas. Ooh. Oh, but Midas, that is it. If you do Midas, that's all you get. You get no more. Michelin... I mean, they're very similar, but actually, I kind of like the lizards better, really. So, all right, let's do that. How fat do they go? I don't want duels. I think we're going to go right there. Tuning of base horsepower. Now, I don't know that we're going to need much more, but, I mean, for five grand, we can double it? Okay. I don't think we need that. Spray Star. I have no idea what that does. Spray Star and Spread Star. Well, we're going to be spraying. So, fenders. I kind of like fenders. Five grand for some plastic fenders. My good, they're goodness, not good. <laughs> My goodness, they're proud of those. A beacon light. Numbers. I don't want numbers. 
I guess we'll go with a beacon light just in case. I mean, just in case what? I don't. It's 90 bucks. All right, let's, uh, how much cash we got? We may have to borrow money. 200, oh, we are. That is not good at all. We have, oh, I do have an ace up my sleeve. Okay, so let's do, let's go garage. And this guy right here, we're going to sell it. I know if I drove it to the store, I would get more, but I don't want to take the time right now. So we're not going to. Back to John Deere. And let's just start off with the uh, liquid. So seven grand for like two thousand? Ah no. Load command system. Huh. Well, I hope somebody knows what that's for. I have no idea. If you do, please let me know. I'm gonna buy it. <laughs> because I it must be something good. So alright, let's buy. And there we are. Wow, we're still sitting now with 360. Glad I sold that. Okay, back. Beautiful. So that was an awful lot of money to fertilize one field. So let's get our butt right there. Look at that. I love it when it works that way. Now, now, why would you do that? Oh, I guess I was supposed to pull out forward. Why do I... Whoa, it's like sinking in the ground here. Well, <laughs> yeah, come on out here. Get you get your butt back out here. What in the world is this thing doing? Well, hold on. Let's see here. I can't pick it. I broke it already. Now, for one, I wasn't sure if I had it the right direction, but I do think I do think I did. I think. Let's figure this out. Let's go here. Here. You know, best laid plans. My best laid plans are horrible. They're always horrible. Let's go pick it up. How about if we set you... Right there. That looks good. See, there we go. Just need a little friendly persuasion. A little, you can do it. That's all it needed. And that's what we gave. Shut that thing off. So let's get, we got a sell point at the farm. So we can go ahead. Uh-oh. Oh, really? It's raining, folks. I knew that was coming. I completely forgot about it. Whoa. I must have real mud turned on. Look at this. This beast is going to be muddy quick. Ah. <laughs> All right, let's get this thing back to the farm, get it filled up. I think this cell point does liquid fertilizer, doesn't it? Oh, well... Uh, oh, I am thinking, no, it does not. Well, I have one that does. This thing just looks good. It is a big old beast. Look at the long beak on that thing. That sticks way out there. Good old, good old John Deere. Nothing runs like a deer. Let's get over here, and I think this is going to do it for us. If at first you don't succeed, start filling. There we go. How? Oh, how much? Well, that's not bad. Six grand. Ugh, turn around, baby. Well, I guess after driving that forage harvester, this thing turns like a sports car. Because that, that forge harvester is, is awful as far as turning goes. Now, lucky for us, we can let's unfold, uh, fertilize in the rain. Oh, 
my theory is it just helps wash it in. Oh, man. Oh, man. How are we going to do? Does that go out one more click? Oh, my gosh. This thing is massive. <laughs> A couple of our fields are not going to do well with this guy. That is for sure. All right. Let's turn it on and we are off and running I think this is gonna make pretty darn short work out of this field it's gonna be whoop, hard to see we will definitely end up with a little overlapping on this guy Let's uh, let's do a quick speedy. I think it's going to be a fairly short one just because uh, this thing is uh, massive. I think this is the last swipe. We will need to pull up the menu here. Let's turn on cruise control. Let's look. Oh, and I missed one at the bottom of the field. Corn found it. I'm not shocked, by the way. I'm not shocked at all. Scoot over here as far as we can, and I think we're going to get this. Now, the brakes on this guy are what I would call soft. It is, uh, does not stop very well at all. You do not want to be, uh, here, let's try. Okay, I'm going to stop. And here we go. We're stopping. That, see what I mean? That is brakes the entire time. And there we go. Woo. So you, you don't want to be, uh, you don't want to need your brakes very much. Where are we at? All right up here. And, uh, don't do that. Let's turn it on. And I think we got it. Let's check. Perfect. All right. Cool. So, let's get our butt back up to the top of the field. And what? Come on. Go, man. Go. I may have to switch this guy out with the non-modified one. That could be the problem since we're supposed to be going like seven miles an hour and we're going a little faster than that. So I did notice that there were a little speck up here as well. So we're going to just kind of cruise on and let's see if we can get that picked up also. There we go. All the way to the end. And we can stick a fork in this guy. We are done. Oh. Well, hey, at least there's no crops in there. Whoa. No, uh-oh. Uh-oh. Cruise control bad. Cruise control bad. <laughs> so now where am I going to be putting this guy? Oh, wait. We got rid of the quad track, right? So that gives us a new home for this guy. Perfect. All right. There we go. So... I think we should now think about trying to spread some lime on field 11. We've got time. We definitely have time. Oh, that's a, I thought that was a tractor. I was getting ready to hop in it. That is not what we want for spreading lime. But I got to empty out our spreader here because it is full of fertilizer. So let me get that emptied out. There we go. 
and then we will see about getting field 11. No, let go of that. I thought I unhooked it, but I hooked it. I hooked it. Go, 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 go. There we are. You know, I'm liking John Deere, but at the same time, I'm thinking maybe, maybe we should branch out a little bit. I'm not sure what. Pull up, unload that. There we are. Okay, so we're at empty. Put the cover on, not to let it get in. I mean, I don't have a particular brand that I like really more than another brand. It's just that, uh, like I said, somehow this ended up John Deere. Wasn't by choice, really. Part of the way, anyway. Maybe we could do some New Holland. Maybe some Kloss. Kloss would go good here. It's a, It's got a green to it. So, staying in the green family, just a little different shade. Beautiful. Now, I have no idea why these pallets will only empty upside down. Now, you can hold them right side up, and they will empty. But if you want to set them down, they have to be upside down. Don't ask me. I don't make the rules at all, to be honest. Rules are just guidelines. Rules and common sense take you take you somewhere anyway. I think common sense is a little better than the rules. Now we may... Do we have fertilizer in the silo? Let's find out before I go spending money. Lime fertilizer. Beautiful. That should do us just dandy oh wait I need lime oh son of a gun golly gee beef <laughs> so all right let me get this emptied out again and then we are gonna put some lime in this guy and here we are now I have to say nothing makes you feel smarter than uh, putting the exact same product that you just dumped out of it <laughs> right back in it it's like Really? Real nice. Alright, let's turn this guy here. This should go pretty quick, I think. Now, we can't harvest. Oh my. We can't harvest in the rain. We could pick up straw, but I, uh, I'm not sure. As I'm watching this tractor struggle with the spreader here, I am not sure that we should be picking up straw either. Come on, there you go, baby. There you go. Wow. This is uh, this is a doozy. And this one, I mean, I don't want to miss anything. I, I won't. I was thinking, you know, if I miss the spot, who cares? We're going to sell it. But then, uh, still my name on it. It's got to be done right. Can't do anything halfway. Got to do it right. Quality always comes first. In farm sim and anything. Let's get over here. Come on, baby. There we are. So this is what? This is going to take about three passes and we will be done. So then what do we want to do after? That's what I'm trying to decide. Because I suppose we could go through and pick up the straw but with this rain do I want to just fast forward some time and then we can do whatever the heck we want because if I fiddle around I'm gonna end up where the episodes over and I don't get anything harvested I'm thinking that we might go ahead and just speed through time a little bit make sure the animals are all good first and if they're good, then maybe we will just uh, take the day, watch some soap operas or something while the rain goes on, and then pick it up as soon as the rain. All right, let's get this guy put away. 
Beautiful. Nice, tight fit. Perfect. All right. Shut that off. Let's take a quick look at the animals and see how they're doing. So the chickens, look at that. We're already up to 83. No more OCD problems with the 77. We've got that problem fixed. The uh, cows are doing good. They need some cleaning. Chicken needs some cleaning. All right, so let's get that taken care of. So can we clean with that trailer? Oh, perfect. No problem. I love that barn. Fire it up. Fire in a hole. Oops. Come on, get it, get it. Now, why does it say I have silage? I am, okay. I'm confused. You gotta let go. It won't, uh, it won't empty. You can put a worker on this thing? That's ridiculous. Why can I not get that thing? Turn on brush. Oh, start the engine. Come on, let me empty this. Because it's not going to let me go clean up the chickens if I've got silage in here. But, come on. Well, I don't know. I'm going to go check. Let's go over here and see. Go riding in the rain to clean the dang chickens. Oh, this is like a slow boat to China right here. And we have made it. Oh, well. Okay, I guess it did let me empty. Clean that machine. My goodness. All right, so there we go. I think. Let's pull this up. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are all good. They're so dandy. I mean, there's really nothing we can do easy. I could try to cut grass, but again, I mean, I've got the uh, Real Mud mod installed, and I just don't think anything in these fields is a good idea right now. I think we'd just be asking for trouble. I just got rid of the quad track, the one machine that would just be able to handle it. So let's go over here. We're just going to park this guy up. And then, like I said, I think we're going to head to the house, watch a few soap operas, wait for the rain to pass. Now, I, one thing I want to say is the rain noise in Farm Sim is ridiculously good. I love the sound of the rain in this. It's got the thunder and everything else. It just They should sell a soundtrack of nothing but the rain. I'd probably buy it. So, all right, I will see you once this rain has subsided. Well, it is about time. My goodness, as you can see, it still hasn't really quit raining yet all night long. That was a good soaking rain. Our uh, cotton is ready to go. Our sugar beets are ready to go. And as is our straw. But first things first, we had said we were going to do our sugar beets. We're going to get those things knocked out. So we need we need sugar beet stuff. That's what we need. So let's pull this up. As you can see, I was already looking in some beet technology here. And I am thinking that this guy right here, the HR9, it's 78,000. It's got six meters and it goes 15 miles an hour. Now, I mean, it's the biggest one. And I think it goes the fastest. It's not the cheapest, but by golly, it is really close to it. So let's, uh, let's, uh, now I only want to lease this. So we're at four grand for that. I'm trying to keep track of this. How much is it going to cost us to harvest sugar beets? Now, wait a second. Does these machines just do it all on their own, don't they? 
or do these need uh these needs to be topped first if we use these I think I am pretty sure that is the case now I am not a hundred percent because I do not do sugar beets very often but I am pretty sure if we got that guy it we would have to uh we would have to top it first. So I'm not going to run the risk, to be honest. I think we're just going to go with the uh, the Teradas here, the T440. How much is it going to cost us? 25. So ooh, almost 30 grand worth of just hardware to get this thing done. Ooh, now I like that. The trailer boards, they look good. They look real good. I don't think we need any extra horsepower. I mean, really, it should be fine. We don't have any big hills or anything like that to overcome. So let's uh, let's lease this. Twenty-five grand. There it is. Ugh. Ouch. So let's. Up oh, here we are. Just like that. So I think. I don't know why they put things there. That way, that way, that way. It makes it really difficult. God, this thing is big. That is, those are just beasts. Why is that thing on the ground like it is? I don't know, that does seem to be dragging the ground quite a bit can we race it that is lower now I think I am trying to see here I, I have a mod for raising the headers and stuff but uh, wow that guy is right on the ground I don't think it's supposed to look like that I don't think it's supposed to be on the ground the whole time I mean, how, it says lower. How do you lower that? But I'm thinking what we'll do. Either way, it's rolling down the road. I think we're doing... Oh, no, it's got wheels. Oh, we're fine. So let's hit 26 first. It's kind of on our way. Man, look how long that is. Okay, so let me turn on my menu here just to make sure I know what the heck I'm doing. Lower the header, which it didn't move at all. Turn. Oh, I have to unfold stuff first. Unfold. There we are. Now, I can't remember how much this holds, but I would like to think that it is going to hold most of what we have in this field. Turn on. It's rocking now. There it is. I'll be danged if it ain't. Scoot on over there a bit. There we go. So, what, we're at 4%, 5%. So, by the time we get down to the end of the field, it looks like we could be at 10%. I don't think it's going to hold at all. But, you just never know. No, I know. It's not going to hold at all. Oh, yeah, there is no way. No way at all. And I did not bring a trailer with me. This thing turns pretty darn good. For being as big as it is, it does turn. I mean, that is that is definitely something. Let's see if we can get on the outside edge so you can see what the heck we're doing. It's all in the tools. This machine makes this job not too shabby. No one left behind. That is our motto. There we go. We got it. So let's go through here. And let's get this done. We will definitely... Now, I'm not sure. Do I want to run a speedy on this guy? Or do we want to run a speedy on the other? I don't think we want to do both fields. I think the other one might be a little bit better. Kind of more room to move around, turn around, little otter shaped field and all. So let's go through here. 
You know, maybe what I'll do is we'll run... Oh, I think I missed a few here. Let me back it up here. I'm thinking maybe we will go ahead and run a speedy on both. I'm going to have to go get the trailer and stuff. I'll edit some parts out just to make it so it's not a stupid long speedy. I like them to be around a minute, minute and a half, somewhere in there. So we'll take some little bits out, some of the boring parts. And uh, we'll go from there. So with that being said, I will see you all on the other side. I think that's all we can do as for right now. Let's, let's shut that thing off there. I don't think we've done too bad now. We got what? That's 40,000 liters. This is, uh, I believe it's 150,000 liters in this trailer. So we are looking right now almost 200,000 liters of sugar beets. Now, again, I let's see here. What is a good price for sugar beets? Well, your guess is probably much better than mine. So let's see. Sugar beets, sugar beets, where art thou sugar beets? So we are looking at, oh my goodness gracious, look at that. So we're at 295 here. Now we have 267 and it's going up. I thought to be honest, I thought this last time I looked, I thought this was in the 400,000 mark. I, that's or not 400, that 400 per thousand there. That's better. <laughs> so I think I think what we need to do is I think we should go over here. We should put this in the silo and then wait. I really want to get it sold. But at the same time, I do not want to short the farm. If we can make half again as much, then I think that's what we ought to do. So let's hold off at least until... Why do I always go to the wrong side of this thing? I don't know what the heck my problem is. Little bitty brain. That's what that is. Little bitty brain. So let's go over here. Good. It will take it. I was concerned for a moment. So when we go in here and 295 is high... So if we come over here, let's, when this guy here at the Keystone restaurant, when it gets maxed out, when it stops going up, then we will sell. And whatever the price is, that's what we'll go with. I think that's going to be our best bet. I don't know. I don't want to hold it forever, but at the same time, I do not want to, I don't want to sell it short either. 
So there we go. That is empty. Sweet. I don't think it's going too bad. It's going pretty darn good. I keep missing little bits here, there, and yonder, but uh, that's that's all on me. Nothing to do with the equipment, for sure. User error, as always. It's always user error. At least it is when it comes to me. Let's get over here and get this thing emptied up. So I probably won't speedy the rest of this guy. I figured uh, we. I think we've got enough. Let's see that way. No, I always go the wrong way. Jeez. Let's get her started up. Is it gonna unload for me? Do I gotta move it? No, we are good. Sweet. So I'm gonna go through here. We're gonna get this thing finished up. Shouldn't take me more than probably 15, 20 minutes to get this thing done. And then hopefully we will be ready to sell. Now what I might do is I might speed up time just a little bit, maybe take it times 15, 20 something see if we can get this thing sold i really want to see how much cash we can get out of this field and i don't want to wait too long here we go are we good we collecting no something's askew there it is i just didn't have it lowered down put that away so all right let me let me get this thing done and then we will touch base and this is it this is all we have left now, I want to say, I recommend if you're doing sugar beets, do it on a fairly straight field. This thing turns really good for as big as this beast is, but it is still a mammoth beast. And just trying to turn this thing around is, uh, is a job. You're like, Ugh, it does not turn like a sports car. And I should have bumped up the horsepower when I had the chance. And I did not. Now, we are going to be really close to filling up our second trailer full here. Raise that. Shut it off. But that's all. I see one sugar beet out there that I guess is going to have to go to the field gods because I'm not going to go get it. <laughs> but overall, I think we did a pretty good job. I have got most of them. There are very few that are still there. And, oh, look at that. 1400 liters is all we could not get in there that's ridiculous whoa 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 fella there you go all right are we out of the way there no there we are all right so i did i did turn time off but it set it to zero because i went and looked just a minute ago and noticed that let's see here we are over here at sugar beets it's right here. So we are at 295, but it's dropping. So I wasn't paying very close attention to it. The Keystone restaurant did level off. It hasn't dropped, but Animal Stockyard is looking uh, pretty darn good. So I think let's tag it. And where are we going? Animal Stockyard. All right. Oh, too far, too far down oh no that's dairy animal stockyard again i do not believe that i have been here so where are we gonna have to go so we'll have to head on down here past eureka farms take a right at johnson's mill okay all right well we can do that this trailer is full so it is uh time to get it sold now i'm thinking what we've got about three hundred thousand liters that is substantial that's a whole bunch of sugar beets the main thing is can we make money at the sugar with the sugar beets and i think we can i mean i don't know how much we spent on seed and fertilizer and all of that fun stuff but with the equipment rental, we were looking at right at 30 grand, I believe, when you got the header and the harvester itself. Somewhere around there. But I think we are going to blow that right out of the water. Don't hit the mailbox. So, all right. So, let's head over here to the animal whatever that place was. It was animal something. It's over there. I can't really see. You get looking at trees. So I do believe we are turning right 
right here. I'm pretty sure there. I did have to pull out my mini map. I can't trust my uh, sense of direction. That's for sure. <laughs> that wouldn't be good. So we go up here somewhere, and then I think we have to turn a right again. Now this is this map is just awesome. I love the way everything looks. It is gorgeous. They just did an outstanding job on this guy. That's a pretty big tree over there. I like it. So is it in here? Oh, there it is. There it is. I see it. I do. I do. All right. Let's see if we can get this pig backed in here. I need a different view, though. They didn't make it too difficult on us. Turn, 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 cut. There we go. Straight. Oh, oh, come on, man. Amateur, amateur move right there. I'm all about those. <laughs> Dump it, baby. Oh, it glitched right through there. Thank goodness. Our money is going up. Not too bad. Not too bad. I don't think we are going to make stupid money. It's not really going up as fast as I was hoping it was going to go up. Now I'm starting to sweat a little bit. Are we going to make money on this or are we not? I don't know what we had to start with. And how much? How much? 44. All right. So not bad. We are not getting rich. That's for sure. We are not going to get rich. But with that, we're going to make about 88 grand. 88, 89, somewhere in there. So that should, that's going to at least pay for our equipment, pay for our time, our seed. We're, like I said, we're not going to make a bunch of money, but that's okay. You can't always make a bunch of money. So let's go back. Let's grab that next trailer full, get our butt back here, and get this pig sold. Now, I will assume that we are going to get the same amount of money as we got last time, since it's the same amount of sugar beets at the exact same price. So we should get 44 and some change, which is putting us up over the 400,000 mark. That is pretty dang sweet. So what, we got 88,642. Pretty good. Pretty good haul for sugar beets, I think. So now what do we do? What I would really like to do is I think the big money is going to be in our canola straw. I think we are going to make uh, a probably stupid money for straw. I mean, it is straw, but we should make what is now. See, I never know. I don't know what the differences are. Let's uh, go here. No, there. That's what I want. So we scroll on over here. And it is one of this one, this one, or this one. I have no idea which, but we're still looking at what? The top is 227. And what? 224. Oh, 232. 240. So we're not bad. I mean, somewhere in the low twos is where we're at. Almost mid. Somewhere in there. That should still be pretty darn good. What is regular straw going for? 94. Yeah. I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do just fine because we are probably gonna get more than 300,000 liters of canola straw. That's what I was trying to say. I almost said just straw. <gasps> Blasphemy. I have to say, I think I would really like to get a field or something over here. This area, where are we at? We're down here. This area is pretty cool. I kind of like it. Lots of trees for sure. I don't think I want 55. Maybe we can take 57, this boot. That might not be too bad. Bring it straight down, kind of uh, when we're doing something, turn it into two. So go straight across, then we can do here, blah, 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 and there we go. See, just like that. <laughs> Fixed, ready to go, piece of cake. But uh, that's a, definitely a thought. What is, I don't, what is it, sunflowers? It's gotten, oh, man, oh, it is ready, too. How, how much? 
How much is it? $404,000. Wow. That's a lot. For That's not that big of a field, is it? I mean, that's a lot more area. I guess if we wanted to do trees, but we don't, we don't want to do trees. I don't want to do trees. Well, we'll think about it. We are going to have too much money here very soon. And it's going to have to go somewhere. I don't know what other equipment I should buy. There's always equipment I should buy. But we have the straw coming up. And then we have cotton on top of that. We are not going to get to that in this episode. But we are at least going to get... This, I don't know if we're going to get all the straw picked up. You know how I am. I'll pick it all up. I can't halfway do it. I just uh, I just can't. So let's get up here. Let's see if we can put our straw hat on and uh, get some canola straw. Let's grab our loading wagon. And there we go. That bad boy looks a tad bit dirty. I know I should probably do this after the field, but I think, uh, I think we're going to... Uh, give this a quick tidy let's do that there we go make sure I know what button I gotta hit that thing is a wreck there we go oh yeah cleans up real nice beautiful come on get all that dirt off of there if we decide to take a picture we'll look much better Let's get the tractor. Trying to look out of there going first person. Windows are all dirty and stuff. Look at that. That's a night. Nice, look at that. That looks pretty good. The front end kind of looks like it's just staring at you with those beady eyes. <laughs> all right. Now that we're all clean. Whoa. Stop it. Let's get up here and get it dirty. What do we need to do? Okay, I think this looks like a really good spot to start right here. Turn it on, drop it down. Now, how much does this thing hold? Wasn't it like 300,000 liters, somewhere like that? Somewhere like that? Something like that. Oh boy. Okay. Now, this is probably going to take a little bit of effort. Like I had said when I got done with this, this is not the neatest uh, straw swaths that I've ever seen. It's kind of sloppy, if I might say so. But that's okay. Everything can't be perfectly neat. We're just going to do our job. Sit here, get it all picked up. Oh, and I split it. I hate splitting it. When you got a pile, I always try to go on one side or the other, and then every once in a while you get that split. So then you got to back up twice. It's like just get one side so that we can do it easily. Let's uh, let's go through here and see if we can get this all picked up. Figure out how much we're gonna get. I have no idea what a good price is. I know we just looked at it a few minutes ago, but I don't even remember how much it was. I think it was at least twice. Oh, well, wasn't it in the uh, mid twos, I think. So it was about twice the price of just conventional straw. Over, over, okay. Oh, and it missed it. Arr. Drat. Drat, I say.
Well, she is almost full, which is sweet. So we're looking at what, 350? That is what the magic number is. Oh, maybe 340? Up oh, 340 it is. Sweet. Okay, so now, now we have a bunch, a bunch of canola straw. Where, oh, where does it go? Can, well, okay. And again, I never know which one is which. Oh, let's see here. Does any of them consistently have the highest price? So we're looking at Richland feed is the highest for this fur. No, I don't know about fur, but four for this one. And I think it's the highest for this one. And, well, it is not the highest for this one, but, oh, I really wish, I really wish I knew which one was which. Wait, does it give me an icon on my, oh, so wait, it, it's the single one. That's what it is. Think outside the box, man. Think outside the box. So we're looking at uh, canola straw is the middle right there. So let's go ahead and. Head to Richland. That looks like they're all evened out. Let's go there. Let's tag it. Bag it and tag it, baby. Okay. I can, Every time I say tag it, that's all I... I don't know why that pops in my head, but that's all that pops in my head. So I try, try to control myself, but sometimes I just can't. So, all right. We know where that is. So we just go down, down, down. All right. Let's go. Let's go sell it. Here we are. Here we are. Here we are now. Okay, so let's get over here. Now, I oh, I remember selling here because I was trying to. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, are you kidding me? I j the little light bulb just went off inside my head that said, hey, they only take bales are you kidding me uh so 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 that's not good folks we've already been through this game once before what the bleep is wrong with me i knew this i really really knew this already now uh, we have the portable baler, not the portable, but the stationary baler, where you just dump it in. But the last time I tried that, that was a big old fat negative. It did not work. Ah, oh, corn found it, you maroon. Sometimes you would think I would learn, but no. <laughs> I just can't believe I did this again. Oh, for goodness sakes. So now we must think of a uh, plan B. Whoa. First plan, don't crash. So plan B, what is plan B? Well, I think the first thing we should do is we should put this in our silo and we should go collect the rest of the field. And once we get that done, then we can kind of step back, think about it and see what we can get done. Now, I know there's an update for this map and I am not sure if the update is for PC or is it just for console I don't know to be honest I don't know I think yes sometimes occasionally I think but <laughs> so it's supposed to be it's back in testing this is uh, Wednesday Wednesday the what is it third is when I'm recording this finishing it up so I'm hoping it'll be out on the 4th, but what I'm really hoping for is maybe there will be an update and then maybe the uh, stationary baler will work. I don't know if it's a mod I have installed. I don't know if it's the map. I have no idea why it didn't work or why it doesn't work, but either way, we're going to have to figure out something for sure. So... Let's let this thing dump out of here. And we're not making any money on it today, it doesn't look like. But I definitely want to get my butt back out there in the field. Let's get it finished up, get it all collected. 
and then we can go from there. I think this is it. Right here, not too bad. Now what, we had about 10% left in this wagon when we got done unloading. So we did a little better than I was thinking. I was thinking right around 50% was left. 50% of the trailer full. Looks like we were more at like 60. I will take everything that we can get. Now, what we're going to have to figure out, though, is uh, how we're going to fix this. And we can always do it the same way that I did it last time when I ran into that. And I can't remember what I was selling, but whatever it was, I tried to sell it loose, and that was not going. So if nothing else, we can dump it out and make bales. We can do that. I do have the uh, variable bale size mod installed. So we could most certainly just make like 20,000 liter bales. And that should work out uh, pretty good, I guess. I mean, I'd prefer not to. I would actually like to see if we could get that uh, stationary baler to work. That would be the coolest because last time I tried, I couldn't get it to go. So hopefully this map will be updated. And then once that update happens, then maybe that mod will work and if that does then we'll rent that next time and we will make us some bales now i do not know if the variable uh, bale size mod works on the stationary baler as well as regular bales it should a baler is a baler right you still have to hook it up to the tractor so well i i guess we will see but I think that is it. That is all that we have time for today. I have no idea how long this video is. Hopefully it is not stupid long. I would like it to be somewhere around 45 minutes. Somewhere, maybe. Not an hour. But uh, I guess I'll find that out when I edit. Hey everybody, I greatly appreciate you tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you had yourself a little bit of fun. Until next time, be good everyone. See ya!